Welcome to a new video. In this tutorial, I will show you step by step how to create this very beautiful login page in Oracle Apex. As you can see here, we have here one background image, then we have here a region with two different Oracle Apex items, username and password, then we have here the button. Furthermore, you can see here is also a little bit tower and this region is created or try to create a little bit so in the 3D design. All the important things you will find here in the blog post. Here are the different information that also this code you can easily copy and paste. What I have used here in the video is only this code you can see here and this was the image what I have used. I will show you in this video step by step how to create this beautiful design with this simple CSS code and only with this image. So let's get started. So first of all, I would log in here to my Oracle Apex workspace and after login, I will go here to the app builder and create here a new application. For example, with the name login temp template number two, I will create this application and run this. So now you can see this is the Oracle Apex standard design and what we have to do in the next step is to upload one image. So to upload, I will open shared components here in the new tab, go to the static files, create files, and I will upload one file or one image here and create. Then you can see the image is successfully uploaded and this is our reference path. We need it later. So we go back here to the login page in the Oracle Apex page designer and I will create here a new region. The name of the region is for example, background image. So it's important that the position um, is set here as a background image and the template will be also one image. Then you can see this new option is up here. And now what we have to do is here write the correct path. So I will go back here and copy the image path and will paste it here. After that, I can save it and run. And now you can see the background is successfully saved and it's also here. So the next step is to design this region. To design this, I will give a static value in the CSS class of this region. So I will make a quick edit and go to this region, go a little bit down, and then you can see here, where is the appearance and here is the CSS class. So I write this, I will save this and run. And if I open the page, then you can see here, we will see our custom CSS class name, also my custom login design. So now we can set the different CSS styles directly to this class. It is very good because only this region will be set with our CSS style. So to do this, I will open here again the application and go to the shared components, to the static files, and I will create here a new file with the name global global.css. And I will copy this path of the CSS and I will add this here to the application. So I go again to the shared components, application definition, user interface, and then here directly to the CSS part, and I will enter this. So what happened here, it means I can handle all the different CSS styles only over one global file. So now I can close this tab, I don't need it. I can also close this one. And yeah, I only need first of all these two tabs. So you can see if I refresh then, this is the Oracle Apex default design. The next step is I want to style these both input field and also the button. So I have prepared the code. You can easily copy and paste it here. Then you can see what is here. This is the first class which we have defined here for this region. And the second class is here for the Apex item. You can see here, what does it mean? Um, this is a little bit CSS code uh, logic, for example. It means if this class is coming and also this class is the parent and this is the child. And only if this scenario is happening, then make border radius 20. So if I save this, it means only for the Apex item and Apex button, we will see after refreshing, that they are now rounded. So I will copy here now the next code and will paste it here. Then you can see we are now doing some um, styling these classes with the background, color, border, and so on. I will save this and refresh the page. And now you can see we have here um, yeah, a dark design. 
So the next, what we can also do is a little bit hover. I have also copied the code and will paste it here. And go back and refresh here. Then now you can see if I go with the mouse here on this region and it will make a little bit hover. And, and now you can see we have here create very beautiful design. And if I only remove this CSS class from this region, for example here, save and uh, run the page then you can see we have got here again our standard default template design so i will paste it back and run this and now it's coming back so i think you are also able to create this beautiful design if you have any question you can write me here in the comments and thanks for watching